This is uh, our new motor. It's not too bad, but the battery life is awful. I got about a third of my yard cut. And now I need to recharge the battery. And I'm not gonna be able to have time because I think it's gonna rain. rain. Froggy and nasty out, but I'll finish this thing this weekend. Uh, probably get another battery and I'll let you guys know if two batteries will work. They also gave me a free thing for a quick charger, so I'm gonna get that and see if I can use that. See if that'll help me out. But yeah, it only did a little chunk about that and that i did one row which you can't tell because it's shitty grass all the way up there and then it died the bag though bag is awesome i didn't have any trouble with it or anything filling up like i thought i would the mower itself is really nice it's got some go to it, especially on the uh, Max. It probably let rain the battery out pretty quick, but if you do it on minimum, you're not ever gonna get done. I wanna show you guys the uh, trimmings. It's really nice, I don't have to rake up the trimmings anymore, but it mulches it. Look how fine that is. It's just a lot better than my old mower try to get it to start so I can finish the yard but nope so I guess I'm gonna have to finish it tomorrow if it's not raining and all nasty out I'm gonna have to go to Walmart pick up another battery for this thing I think it'd be really nice if you had a small yard might have a little bit bigger yard this is the self-propelled part, so maybe the self-propulsion is draining the battery down more than everything else. It does have a slot for another battery over here, so we can get another one and then we can just switch them out. But, uh, as you can see, the battery's done. The starting is easy for this mower. I just tell you how to do it right there. But you have to make sure it this thing's full extended. It's not to where you can have it at your own height. It has to be this height and everything. It has to be completely pulled out. I, I was trying forever to try to get the stupid thing to start. And I read that. I was like, oh, completely. Wow, I'm dumb. But this is about two hundred and forty-eight dollars plus tax over at Walmart. It's not too bad. I really like it. See the high adjustment here. Brushless. All in all, it's not a bad little mower. It's gonna take forever to mow the grass though. Cause I don't have another freaking battery. But if you get another battery, I'm sure it'll be okay. So if you do end up getting one of these, the self propulsions at least, you end up getting one of these, you're gonna need another battery if you have a decent sized yard. So I'd say about one, one lot be okay. As long as you don't have a lot of areas you gotta really stop and turn around and everything that's my problem too i got a lot of areas i gotta stop kind of turn a little bit if it's just mostly like one of those perfect little lots where it's mostly straight so you only gotta turn a little bit you should be good to go with one battery but that'll be it one little lot and the battery's drained 
Another thing uh, to really note with this is it's only a 20 inch cutting width, which isn't bad for push mowers, but with your larger yards, it will take a little bit. Like I said the bag though is yeah, pretty good. It was only about a little more than halfway filled with everything that I cut. So maybe with a full cut, I won't even have to empty out the bag. Especially after I get the uh, pond set up and the areas set up where there's less yard for me to cut. It would definitely be less for me to cut and the bag should be able to last me a whole cut, a whole day. As long as my battery is good. Another thing to note, the key here, don't lose that, you need that to start it. All in all, pretty good mower. After get another battery and go for another cut, I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll do a little video of the cutting. It does have a little bit of power to it, so do not, uh, whenever you're mowing, you gotta try to make sure to keep the wheels over there down because sometimes whenever you're doing a turn and when it go up like that and when it's going well not really that much maybe a little bit like this sometimes it will go up like that though if you have it on a uh, max the uh, men is really really slow like a little grandma walker but the max is about a, a fast walk almost for some people i got long legs so it's not that bad for me uh halfway through min and max my wife can do it well you know it's a good pace for her oh it does have lights too I mean, it's pretty quiet it's, it makes like a little almost like a leaf blower almost mm, anything else anything else before i forget here's all this garbage you guys want to pause it and read any of that any of my friends who like Spanish more there you go there you go there you go the bag is a uh, pretty easy assembly too a little bit of pain in the butt but you're not going to really take it apart unless you don't have anywhere to store this thing like me I don't have anywhere to store it so it's going to go in the basement until we can get a building or something I get an area cleared out. Maybe I'll go try to find an area to clear out somewhere. Either which way though, pretty good mower. I might do a little bit more later on to show you guys. I don't know. I'll take some pictures of the box. Well, I'll take a picture of the box, but uh, anything else I'm, I'll take a picture of. There's also, um, let me show you. Just more and more. Oh, I can just get this thing off. You don't have to have the bag. This hole here, there's a. It comes with a mulch plug, so you can stick it in here, and it'll just spray out as normal. Not really spray out. They don't spray out. As you see, it will uh, just mulch up finer than this. A little finer than this so if you don't have a bag or you don't want the bag or whatever it's all good to go it, just, it comes with the mulch plug in so when you open this up oops, this area down here this hole it'll be a weird little plug thing you just reach in here and grab it that's like a handle it's kind of hard to pull out but don't worry you're not gonna break it i don't think I don't know, <laughs> it, it shouldn't break. It's not supposed to break, so. If it breaks, you'll just have to go take it back or whatever, but there you go. Ouch, this motor's pretty cool. My only complaint is the battery life. But after I get another battery, it probably would be able to cut my whole yard. So that's not too bad the size of yard I have. Or maybe, maybe I have to get another battery, I don't know. Two batteries should be good though. 
Maybe with that quick charger, it'll be able to charge up the battery quicker. I don't remember how long it took. I just uh, charged the battery up while I was at work and I had my wife take it off. So, you know, it was full charge when I started. I made sure of that. So maybe if I can get the quick charger, which they do send you, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, they do send you a free little uh, redeemable code in the box with this for a quick charger. So make sure you read through some of that uh, papers they have. It's a uh, blue paper, so it's different than the rest. Oh no, I really like this mower. I'm gonna leave a nice review for it. It's really nice. Don't like the battery life, but like I said, it should be able to cut your average little yard in town. I'm in town, sort of, but I got a decent little plot, so it's a little more to go for this poor little thing. All in all, like it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.